Speed3D Craft is an additive manufacturing simulator that allows you to experience the true expeditionary cutting edge 3D printing technology by going through the processes of designing, printing, heat treating, machining, testing, and delivering a variety of different parts. The aim of the game is to manufacture as many of the assigned parts as possible within the time frame. When you start the game, you will load into the trade exhibition. From here, you can walk to the Speed 3D booth. You can then select the destination you wish to work in. If you don't like the destination, you can always unload the destination and pick a new one. Please note that this portal will later be updated to allow better performance and low-end machines. Once you're ready, walk through the portal. Just be aware the timer starts counting down as soon as you walk through the portal. This is the Kanban board. It shows you what parts you need to make and the material you need to make the parts. In this example, we're going to try to make the aluminium bronze spanner. This is the design station. It allows you to generate two parts, but the printer and the CC machine. So we'll go ahead and we'll select the spanner. And then we want to print in aluminium bronze. So we'll go ahead and select that and then click next. From here, we can reorientate the part. This in turn can reduce the materials needed to print, which in turn means less material that needs to be CNC'd off the final product. Generating a print will also give us the amount of powder required. Please take note of this. Next, we need to select the machining speed for our CNC machine. Selecting a faster machine speed will require less time to machine parts, but also increase the failure rate. For this demonstration, we're going to pick slow, and then we're going to click next. Now that's out of the way, here is our powder supply. This is the powder feeder. This is where we load our powder so the machine can print parts. We're going to load some aluminium bronze supply. Make sure to put the right powder in. You can see how much powder is in the machine by having a look at the screen here on the printer. At the moment there's 5 kilograms. If we were to print a larger part, we would need more aluminium. The powder feeder can only hold one type of powder at a time, so if we need to change powders, we'll need to empty the powder feeder by clicking this button here. Now that we've got our powder feeder loaded, we're ready to print. This is where all the magic happens. This is warp speed, one of our printers. From here, we can click on the spanner, the part that we wish to print, and we can start our print. Once it's done printing, it'll appear on this table here. Now it's completed, we have a part. Let's move over to the furnace. This is the furnace that we use for heat treatment. From here, we need to select the material that we're going to print in and click start. We use the furnace to heat treat a printer part. This helps with the hardness and strength of a printer part. Selecting the wrong material will result in a damaged part, and delivering that part later on will immediately give us game over. Now our part is done, let's take it over to the CNC machine. From here, we need to select our CNC tool part that we made earlier, and we can start the machine. This removes any excess material. Now we have our part, and it's pretty much done. Now we need to test it to make sure everything's good. So we take the part over here, and we hold left click on the bench to test it. If it passes, it's okay and we're ready to deliver it. If it fails, however, we'll need to tuck into this bin here. From here, we can go ahead and deliver the part by clicking on the drone. Printing the wrong material won't result in game over, but you won't get any points. Delivery of damaged parts will mean game over immediately. After a delivery, you're ready to restart the process and see how many you can deliver in the time limit. You'll also notice that 
since we delivered a successful part, our score went up. Thanks for watching the gameplay tutorial and have fun printing parts.